Hi everyone, it's KJ here. Welcome to my first apartment tour here in Palo Alto. I'm excited to finally show this place off. It's been quite the process of putting everything together and moving my stuff over from Alabama. I wanted to start off by first saying huge shout out to Zyro for sponsoring this video. They're a great website making platform and I'll talk a little bit more about them later in this video. So right now we're here in the main living space of the apartment. As you can see, the layout is kind of interesting. It was a unique layout for when I was looking at apartments. I didn't really see much like this, but what really intrigued me was this kind of open concept where I could be cooking and then I could be watching TV at the exact same time. So this main entertaining space right here, I kind of went overkill, not gonna lie, with the Samsung Q70. Um, 4K TV, it's a 75 inch TV. Definitely don't didn't need it, but it's been great for playing Fortnite, playing PS, other PS4 games, and then watching some NBA games. So one thing that I wanted to do throughout this apartment was put plants, because it kind of brings life into the space. And that's something that Michelle and I talked a lot about when we were trying to design what this place would look like. And so as you can see, there's some plants around. They're all real plants. We went over with Home Depot. Kevin actually helped me out and pick those out. Right here I have this shelving unit that I got from Wayfair. Um, it just has a bunch of stuff, mostly gifts from Michelle and what I really like, I got these Model S and Model X toy cars that if anyone knows me, they know I'm a big Tesla fanatic. I own a Model 3, so I wanted something Tesla in the apartment. This is my subtle way of doing that without being overkill. Right here I have these bamboo tree lights that I really liked. All of these lights that are in this room are Philips Hue and so they can all change colors. And I wanted a shade that will be able to show the different colors once they change into them. And as you can see, there's a good amount of open space around here. So something that I like to do before working out is foam roll and stretch. When I'm about to work out, I can just lay out the mat right here and start stretching. You might notice that I have some speakers mounted um, on these stands behind the couch. And that's because there isn't really a direct wall behind the couch. And so I needed a way to have the surround sound a little bit more focused and not really far away or off balance. This couch itself, I got from Wayfair. And something that was really important to me when I was buying these couches we're having this one long section so that I can put my feet up. I'm someone that always needs to put my feet up and so I definitely needed a couch that can do this. And since it's off to the side, I wanted to make sure that my TV itself would be able to swivel. And so a lot of the times if I'm watching something just by myself, I'm probably just sitting here with the tape, uh, TV turned and I'm just watching the game or something or playing some PS4. Something that my friends and family got on me about was this air purifier and humidifier by Dyson. I think it does wonders, especially with all the fires going on. This has been great. It keeps the air quality in my apartment really nice and it automatically regulates everything. It is very expensive. So honestly, won't recommend it to too many people, but it's been a nice touch. So something that I added to this space was the outlet right there. So the good thing about this one is that it has separate USB ports and then multiple outlets down here. So what you see plugged in is just the speakers and the subwoofer and so all the wires can get hidden underneath the couch and underneath this rug. And I'll be able to also plug in my phone. What I didn't predict was the amount of things that I'll need to put throughout this apartment to just fill out the space. And so a lot of these things that I got over the past couple of weeks because it just felt empty and so I got this accent tray from Amazon and this is actually my MIT yearbook and luckily my PS4 controllers already kind of match the space so everything just seemed to work pretty well. So now we're going to go into the dining room. The dining area isn't that big but I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I wanted to put a rug around because if you didn't notice the entire space is filled with carpet and so 
If there was a mishap around the dining table, I wanted to at least make sure the rug is messed up and not the overall carpet. I just wanted to be simple and match the kind of wooden and white kind of theme that's going on around here. Going back into the kitchen area, we can see that it's not the biggest kitchen in the world and so there isn't really that much counter space. It has everything standard like you would think, like the oven, microwave, and dishwasher. All my food is actually kept in here and it's in nice drawers that actually like extend out. It's easy to get everything even though there isn't too much space. I got this bar set up just to give myself some more space for some of the other things that you would think would be in the kitchen. So, so as you can see, I have stuff like the rice cooker, Nutribullet, and my toaster oven air fryer combo unit right here. And these are things that I would usually have on a kitchen countertop, but because there's not much counter space, I put that stuff here. So the next space I'm going to go into is probably my favorite space in this whole apartment and it's this outdoor patio area. It's a closed patio so it doesn't get too hot when it is hot outside, but it does allow, allow a lot of natural light in. And so what I can do is kind of stop work and do a quick workout and I can come in here and it's a nice view as you can see, like Palo Alto is really beautiful. And I've outfitted this place with pretty much all the equipment that I use at a normal gym. So I have my lat pull down machine and there's different cables that can connect to it. And I have my dip ab machine over here. And as you can see, there's the full squat bench rack over here. And I have the full Olympic weights and full Olympic barbells and different bench um, that can move out of the way so I can do squats when I need to. And something that I was glad I actually invested in were these adjustable dumbbells. As you can see, these have a lot of different weights involved and so I can push this button and dial it to pretty much any weight and just lift it up. And depending on what I dialed it to, the weight of the dumbbell changes. And so this whole dumbbell system can vary between five and 71 pounds that are very versatile. I don't have to have a whole rack of weights and over here this is already came with the apartment just a built-in cabinet system it's been good to keep my like resistance bands other weight equipment and it just keeps everything organized this area right here is something that michelle and i talked about being nice for this apartment is just the ability to kind of come out here and maybe have breakfast and look at the view and so this table was set up out here for that reason. And it's kind of out of the way, but it's a nice spot that I do come to quite often. So coming back into the apartment, something that I forgot to mention were these bar stools. There is this small counter area over here, so I did put these adjustable bar stools in. I got these from Wayfair. A lot of the stuff that you're going to see in this apartment were from Wayfair or Amazon or Target. That's probably the only three places where anything is from. Something that I did mention earlier was that all of these lights that are behind the TV and then on this lamp are all Philips Hue. And as you can see, I have like a Google Hub Max over here. And so it cycles through a bunch of different pictures that I set for it to cycle through, but then it also controls everything. So I can say stuff like, okay, Google, turn the lights blue. And as you can see, the lights just instantly turn blue. So that's a cool touch that I like having where I don't have to get up and change anything. So we can come over here and these are just cabinets. It's nothing really interesting. I have my cleaning supplies here, my vacuum, extra mattress. And what I use this space over here for is for organizing my shoes and organizing my jackets. And so this is where I keep everything because as you can see there's a lot of carpet around this apartment and for that reason I take off my shoes and I don't really want them to get any dirt on the carpet so I put all my shoes in this area. Coming into the hallway there's this little guest bathroom. It's only a half bathroom there isn't any bathtub or shower or anything like that but it's a good place for guests to come and they don't have to come use my bathroom. 
And I have a lot of canvases throughout the place if you haven't noticed already, but I like to put up the people that I care about throughout my living space. It just keeps my spirits high, reminding me of good times. And something that I've also done was put the Nest thermostat over here. It follows the vibe of just having a smart integrated apartment so that I can control it with the phone or with the Google hubs around the house and it can change the temperature pretty smartly. Like it'll save on my electric bill in the long run. So coming into this office space, this is actually the space that I was looking forward to most when I was coming to Palo Alto because I never had a space quite like this. And as you can see, I have the keyboard brought over from Alabama because I've been trying to um, relearn a lot of the music that I was able to play when I was younger. And since it's quarantine, of course, there's a lot of time to do so. This is where I mainly edit. Here's my iMac Pro and my hard drives. And this is where I usually edit. And then over here, I'm probably doing problem sets or something with my iPad. And yeah, this whole desk is a nice uplift desk where it's all motorized and a standing desk where you can see exactly how many inches it is and something about standing and working just kind of keeps you going and not really fall asleep sometimes during these lectures so I actually stand up quite a bit during the day just to break up the monotony of everything but because of how expensive this desk is this runs around 15 to 1700 this is not actually a desk that I would recommend to most people because it doesn't really add too much functionality outside of a normal desk for the amount that it's cost people. Um, but FlexiSpot was actually a gracious enough to send me over their version of the standing desk. And because I love standing when I'm working because it keeps me focused, like I actually take most of my Zoom calls from this desk right here. Um, it's been great having this standing desk here. And something about FlexiSpot standing desk is that I think right now they're on sale for just $250. And so for $250, it becomes a lot more reasonable. And you can see that the desk space is quite a bit. It's four foot by 30 inches. And so there's plenty of space to keep everything from my laptop monitor and even miscellaneous camera stuff. And it's stable enough where I feel safe to put even my most precious electronic equipment up here. And this is also something that has a little control panel on the side. And so it can go up and down to whatever height that you want it to go to. So if you want to sit down, you can definitely just let it down. But yeah, FlexiSpot, this is the EC1 standing desk. And it's been great. They also sent me another one. So it's going to be in the studio back at the Stanford grad housing. So you'll probably see that in more of my future tech videos. But this is a desk that I can highly recommend because it just has great bang for your buck. I definitely want to play around with this space and I'm pretty sure it's going to change and adapt as I figure out what I want to do with it. A cool thing about this couch too, it's pretty good for visitors and so Kevin came over that other time and so he was able to sleep here because this pulls out and converts into a full-size bed, which is always nice. So coming out of the office, the master bedroom actually has a pocket door right here. So if I wanted to completely seclude this room and the bathroom off from the rest of the apartment, I can do that. But most of the time I just keep this open and here I have the full bathroom. Nothing really special in here. It's just a bathroom. But I do have my smart scale in here and so I've been using this to track my weight and body fat percentage and muscle mass percentage and it connects to the Wi-Fi and actually updates my in my app every time I step on it. So that's a cool piece of tech that's in my bathroom that I like. I'll definitely link in the description. So now coming into my bedroom, if you can see there isn't really too much in here outside of like bed and chilling areas, but that is because I wanted to keep this room very just focused on relaxing. Something that I've done a lot in past spaces is kind of mix my workspace and my rest space. And so this space allows me to just come in here and relax. I'm not gonna do any work in here. 
and if I am going to be here, I'm just going to be either watching TV before going to bed or just actually sleeping. And if I wanted to ever read something, I'd put this chair in here so that I can just either browse the web on my iPad or just read a nice book. And this is a nice comfy chair that was also on Wayfair um, that I like having in the corner because it just allows me another area to relax in this place. A cool thing about this TV, it's also mounted the same way as the living room. And so this one can also swivel. So if I'm in that corner, I can turn it to face me as well. The only thing connected to this TV is an Apple TV and that is connected on the back here. I have a wall mount that's connected back here and so you can see all the cables are routed behind here and go down that little funnel back there. And so that was a little touch that I've done. There isn't really anything else to show. Um, shout out to Timmy for manning this camera for this whole apartment tour, but I'll definitely be making more videos like this in the future because I'm still in the process of putting more things in place and assembling more things, just figuring out what I'm going to do specifically. So yeah, that's all that I want to talk about for this space. And now I want to talk about Zyro, which is the sponsor of this video. Zyro is a website builder that makes it extremely easy for anyone to create amazing websites and launch online stores that sell. Now more than ever is the perfect time to go start an online business or start a vlog or even just create a personal website. In the past, this used to require coding or design experience, but with Zyro, it's as simple as drag and drop editing using their intuitive grid. It's basically like all of the hard work is done for you, so you can get your quick loading website up and running in just minutes. There's new designer made templates added every week to the already over 100 existing templates. The whole interface is very intuitive and I was able to start creating my website right away without needing any sort of tutorials. But just in case you needed help, there's 24 seven customer support that's always there to help you. With Zyro, you get all of these easy to use tools, but then you also get their business tools as well. You can use Zyro's AI features to help you start brand and scale your business. And you can easily manage all of your business from one place, including your products on Facebook, Instagram, and Amazon. And I haven't even mentioned that Zyro offers the best prices on the market because they don't charge you for features you don't need. Go to zyro.com slash special slash KJ Hardrick and use my promo code KJ Hardrick to get 30% off any of the Zyro website builder plans. Again, that's zyro.com slash special slash KJ Hardrick and use promo code KJ Hardrick to get 30% off any of the Zyro website builder plans. So when I was editing this video, I actually realized that I didn't say some important things that I wanted to say. And that's just that I really appreciate all of the love and support that I've been getting from all of you. I recently passed 90,000 subscribers and I know that there's no way I would have been able to get a place like this at this stage of my life if it weren't for the support and the success that I've been reaching from YouTube specifically. And I wanted to say that all of the hard work, all of the stressful nights and sleepless nights where I'm trying to edit and get these videos out for you is really worth it in the end because I know that I'm inspiring and motivating a new generation of really smart and motivated individuals. So that being said, I just want you to let me know in the comment section what type of videos you want to see in the future. I definitely want to get back into at least doing some tech videos mixed in with these more lifestyle videos. And just, and yeah, just let me know. This channel is for all of you. And I want to create the content that you all would appreciate. So just let me know and I'll see you in the next video.